His blood pressure is not normal. What is normal blood pressure? Now, a lot of scientists here. What is blood pressure, really? I mean, I have not been able to understand that. Though it was my research uh, interest for the last half a century, I don't know what blood pressure is. Any physics teachers here will know that they teach PUC students that laminar flow cannot exert lateral pressure because lateral pressure, if it exerts, it can't flow further. Cosine 90 is zero, right? So, a student mucks it up, student doesn't understand it. We don't allow students to understand the subject in the school. From the day you get into the school, we stop their, they stop their thinking. We block their thinking, because if they think, they ask questions. If they ask questions, we are in trouble. So he mucks it up and then repeats it and vomits it in the CET exam. Gets the first rank, gets into the medical school. The physiology professor, very, you know, venerated professor comes to the class and says, Blood pressure is the lateral pressure exerted on the vessel wall by the flowing blood. Okay? Just the opposite. He has forgotten that cosine 90 is zero because he only studied it for the exam. Now he starts mucking this up. Blood pressure is the lateral pressure exerted on the vessel wall. Is the blood flowing laminarly is the first question. We don't know. Who is pumping the blood? We don't know. And what is the systolic pressure and diastolic pressure? I can understand systolic pressure, which is when the heart pumps the blood, blood comes, pressure goes. What is diastolic pressure? In diastole, the heart doesn't pump any blood. Koroko, a Russian scientist, when he was about 30 years old, wrote about these Koroko sounds, which doctors, you know, they put the cuff on their thing and then they lower the pressure. And then when the sound comes, they say systolic. When the sound disappears, they say diastolic. And beyond the disappearance of the human hearing, there are a lot of other sounds happening. You can't hear because they're, they're ultra, you know, so ultra sound, beyond the human hearing sound. So your diastolic pressure may be much lower if the last sound is there. If it is recorded by the doctor as 100, it may be even 70 or 8, 60. So why, what is this blood pressure? Now, I'll ask you some question. A woman bleeds after a childbirth. Both kun jata hai. Blood pressure falls. So what has changed? The volume has changed. Blood volume has come down. Or doctors, we, we give a lot of drips, you know, sometimes we overfeed the drip. And then the blood pressure goes up. What happens? Volume goes up. So what is this pressure and volume difference? Now we say if, if you have an obstruction in a vessel, your blood pressure goes up. Now if you have an obstruction in your, the, the physics of an obstructed flow, you will be surprised that the, 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 it's very interesting. Totally opposite of what you say. Now this is where I have not understood blood pressure. Okay, that's all right. Now what is normal blood pressure? What is normal for BMI day? May not be normal for Sanjay. Our biggest non-science of Western medicine is we have one size fits all policy. How do you arrive at this? How does how does one find out what's the normal blood pressure? We take an average. I met the professor of statistics. Where is she? Ah, good, good, good. I, I didn't want to tell her. There's a nice book written by a professor of statistics in Washington University. His name is Stephen Milloy. And he is a statistics professor, epidemiology professor. He has written this beautiful book called Science Without Sense. That is statistics. And there are various methods of distorting facts in statistics. Very simple. Now I'll tell you how we do it. He calls it as Texas sharpshooting. That is, we do some study and the data doesn't fit into our hypothesis. So then we search where does the data somewhere fit into it. And then he says, that is my point. So he says, if a new man is given a gun, let's see. Kumar knows how to shoot a gun. Supposing he gives that gun to me because I'm his friend and I shoot at the wall, they sh the bullets will go all over the place. Then do you know what I do? I go in near the wall and search for a place where two or three bullets have come near each other and they, that was my bullseye. Do you understand that?